All right. Here we go. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Gonna tell you what happens when two equal ratios meet. So you got your one half. That's a ratio. You got your two fourths. That's, That's a ratio. ratio. You got your three six. You know the drill. That's also a ratio. Now, did you know that those, all those ratios are the same thing? There's something really cool that happens with this. Next thing I'm going to tell you about is something called the cross products. So back to that one half equal to two fourths. When you multiply that denominator times the numerator, you get the same thing as you multiply the other denominator times the other numerator. That is the law of cross products. That's the main thing you need to know for proportions. And they come in really handy. You can use a proportion. Cross fold and You can use a proportion. Cross fold and You can use a proportion. You want to figure out how much to tip your waiter or waitress? You can use a proportion. Do you want to figure out how much money you'll save? You can do you want to figure out how much tax you have to pay? You can use a proportion. Do you want to figure out your total cost or your sale price? You use a proportion. Just take whatever you figured out and add it or subtract it to your original cost. You just have to read carefully. When you have to deal with similar figures, you can use a proportion. when you have to deal with unit rate, when you have to deal with what you scored on that test, you can use a proportion. If you need to check in with your teacher, they'll be happy to you see can you. Use a proportion. Cross fold and You can use a proportion. Now check out the ricochet technique. You can use a proportion. 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 Can you feel it? <laughs>